I am showing you the left kidney of a patient, young patient, uh, in which uh, the important thing to note is that, you see, this, these are the dilated calluses, these are dilated minimal to moderately, the parenchyma is normal, preserved in thickness. Now this is the jabbery seen in the uh, region of the uh, proximal ureter. This is the proximal ureter. This is the pelvis of the kidney. And uh, the, the, the proximal ureter measures approximately 13 millimeter up to 7 is considered to be normal. There is no calculus <coughs> seen within the kidney and there is no cochlea. Now, uh, if you see, I can trace it up to its upper part. And down, this is the ureter, this one. I can trace it. This is the ureter. Let's see. It is ureter or uh, not? Does it take blood supply? No, it takes blood supply. So this is not the ureter. One way of uh, ruling out. If you are seeing something like uh, uh, I was showing you initially, now this being the proximal ureter, weight debris within air, we do not see any blood flow within the pro dilated proximal ureter. Debris is seen. Here. You see, this is the uh, proximal ureter, this area. Again, the brief filled, and this is the kidney. So, anyways, the upper upper part of the ureter is uh, visualized. So, do it. And the reason uh, this is one, and the other part of the story it lies within the urinary bladder. You see there is a calculus protruding into the urinary bladder from the left urethrovesical junction. It measures approximately two centimeters. And uh, I think the architect, if he can get it, it's poorly calcified, not that well calcified, but this is the twinkle artifact, uh, this one. This is the twinkle artifact from this uh, ureter. So this is the uh, Part one of this uh, story of this patient's pathology. Naming. Now, and this is the left kidney showing you hydronephrosis and hydroureter with uh, every within. Thank you very much.